Walter Godefrud has taken the lead, and now it's his turn to force the pace so that it hurts. Godefrud, the former winner of Paris. And suddenly it happens. Four men have broken away. Godefrud, de Meyer, de Vlamink, and Kuiper. De Vlamink looks back and proceeds to increase the speed even more. Notice de Meyer tucked into de Vlamink's slipstream. He's riding for himself now. The crash by his Captain Martins has released him from all obligations. The remainder of the field are a couple of hundred yards behind. Two men have separated themselves and are midway between it and the breakaways. They're the two Frenchmen, Poulidor and Donguier. It's Francesco Moser with his distinctive style. His still aerodynamic position on the bicycle is an imposing sight of almost effortless rotary action. Moser continues to bridge the gap. Now Moser has made it, and there are five men in the leading group. But Godefrut has problems. He's punctured. A real disaster for him. Moser, the rival Belgians de Vlamink and de Meyer, the Dutchman Kuiper in the world champion's rainbow jersey. These are the four who've gained for themselves a vital position. The four negotiate a sharp corner and chaos again. Moser and de Vlamink are doing all the work in the lead group. They're the ones making sure that the distance between them and their pursuers is constantly increasing. Neither de Meyer nor Kuiper take the lead. They're just hanging on, or are they being crafty and saving their strength? De Meyer glues himself to de Vlamink's rear wheel. He's been in that position since the start of the breakaway. He's still marking de Vlamink, and in so doing, furthers the war that Martens and de Vlamink are waging against each other. Kuiper is always at the rear. Is he tired, or is he waiting for a chance to get a jump on the others? That's his speciality. And that's how, a little unexpectedly, he became the world champion last year. The rest of the way is ordinary asphalt road. It's unlikely now that anybody in the rear group can catch up. Vlamink is alert and immediately wipes out the danger and the ace Belgian still seems to be controlling the race. On the final miles, de Vlamink again keeps the pressure on. His pacemaking is tough and exhausting. It looks as if he's trying to force an early showdown. By continuing his attacks, he's hoping to drain the power from his three companions.
The Merck's group is about a minute and a half behind. Don Guillaume has been swallowed up by them. And now, no one shows any desire to make a break. And Kuiper again. But de Vlaminck sees it and is on his wheel at once. De Vlaminck and Moser have probably expended the most in building up and consolidating the breakaway's lead. So, just how fresh are De Meyer and Kuiper? There are one and a half laps to do on the track. De Vlaming maintains his command of the situation. Fourth, Kuiper. Kind of. 